Okay, this is Mr. Maxwell again, AP Biology, Pingree. Uh, I want to talk about blood types here. Um, so the question here says blood types A and B display codominance. Uh, we have somebody who's homozygous for blood type A and somebody who's homozygous for blood type B. And then we want to know what are the odds that their kids will have each different kind of blood type. Um, so first, it, I think it helps to understand um, what blood types really are. And uh, basically, they're carbohydrates that are um, on the outside red blood cells. And um, they basically are a self-non-self -self signal. So that if you have, uh, say, blood type O, you have this particular arrangement. You have uh, two galactoses um, and then uh, an acetylglucosamine and an acetylgalactamine. Uh, um, on the outside of your red blood cells. And notice that this particular piece is the same in all of these uh, different uh, organisms. So there are all these different red blood cells. So this particular pattern you'll see here, and you'll see here in mirror image of course, but and you'll see here, and you'll see here. So all the blood types have the same thing that blood type O has. The difference is um, in blood type B there's a little extra thin piece here um, that makes this look different. And there's another for for blood type A. There's a different piece here that makes this look different. Um, and then if you're blood type AB, you have both an antigen uh, from blood type A and you express an antigen from blood type B. So if you have blood type A, you have only this type of arrangement of uh, carbohydrates and if you are blood type B you only have this arrangement and if you're AB you show this type which is the B type as well as the A type. So what happens is if you stick somebody's um, you know if you stick these things together somebody who's blood type O will react with blood type A and cause uh, cause uh, Glutination, in other words, it'll, it'll kind of clump together. Um, likewise, if you stick B into O, you'll have the same thing. Um, if you st stick blood type B into somebody with blood type B, it doesn't recognize it as different from itself. Same thing if you stick this into sometimes blood type A, it doesn't recognize it as different from itself. Um, if you stick blood type O into anybody's body, um, it'll it'll be fine because there's no piece here that's not that's different, and of course if you stick A B into anybody's blood into anybody but A B, it's going to be a problem because either one of these is going to be different from something that everybody else has, and A B winds up being the universal acceptor because they have both antigens and they can take blood from any of these and they're not going to have a reaction to it. So uh, that's the basis of blood types um, and what this means is that uh, if you are blood type A you can have uh, alleles for A and you can have an allele for O. If you're blood type B you can be BO or you can be BB. Um, and if you're blood type AB, you have to have an allele for blood type A and an allele for blood type B. And if you have uh, blood type O, you have to be OO. In other words, you can't have any of these, A or B. Um, so an individual's homozygous for blood type A means they're AA. Individual homozygous for blood type B, which means they're that person is BB and they have kids. So we can again use Punnett squares and this isn't the, uh, you'll sometimes see um, uh, nomen, you know, uh, symbols where they have IgA and IgB and a little I for blood type O and um, uh, but I'm not going to use that because I find that a little bit confusing uh, to most people. Uh, this is a, is a cleaner presentation format. But basically we have here, we have our individual who's homozygous for blood type A. You know, one of, the only allele that they can contribute is big A. And uh, the person who's uh, homozygous for blood type B, uh, only thing they can contribute is a B. So 100% of their kids are going to be AB. And there's a 0% chance they'll have somebody who's blood type A and a 0% chance they'll have a kid that's blood type B.
Okay, next question is two individuals with blood type AB mate. So we've got a person here is AB, and they're going to mate somebody who's AB. Now if we set that one up, these are both heterozygotes, and you can see here we got uh, one sperm, here we got the other sperm from one person who's AB, and here we got an egg and a, another egg from another person who's uh, AB. And so when we mix this egg with this sperm, double double A. So this person's blood type is A. This person's blood type uh, is AB. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the organism which uh, allele comes from where. I just uh, did this so that you could see the B, uh, the sperm, and then the egg. Keep them in order. And then this one here, you can see uh, this one also is going to be A blood type AB. And this final person is blood type B. Uh, so uh, the ratios would be uh, 1 to 2 to 1, blood type A to blood type AB to blood type B. And it's as easy as that.